I want to answer the question, is JetBrains Data Grip worth buying? It's supposed to be the best UI tool out there for interacting with database engines. So let's put that to the test. First things first, price. For you and me simpletons, it costs $89 a year. But if you shell out $249 a year, you get access to all these beautiful IntelliJ products, featuring SeaLion, WebStorm, RubyMine, PyCharm, and IntelliJ, and many, many more. JetBrains has their own IDE product for most popular programming languages. And even better, you pay less for the second year and even less for the third year. It's not bad. Now, if you can't afford the yearly billing, there's the monthly billing. Now for just DataGrip alone, it's $8.90 per year. But for the whole all products pack, it's $24.90 a year. Still not bad. So now that we know the price, let's go and check out the IDE. All right, here we are in the IDE. Check out my settings. I have access to all these cool plugins. This comes with IntelliJ products for free. Pretty good. We got idea of him with it I use, not bad. You want a different theme? You can install a different theme. Just click on install. Again, pretty good. How about the themes that come with it? Well, there's a few to pick from. We got IntelliJ Lite, which is my favorite, Windows 10 Lite, Darkula for those of you that like black, and high contrast. Let's check out Darkula. Pretty good. I don't like it. Let's go back. Much better. So you want to connect to a database? Pretty easy. Just go up here, click on data source. Now you get to pick which database you want to connect to. Most people don't like the fact that you have to download a different IDE for every database engine. That's not the case with DataGrip. You get one tool and you get to connect to all these different things. Now, what if you don't have the driver for one of them, you say? Well, that's pretty easy. You can download the missing drivers by going down here and clicking on the button. No more config, no more pain. Just click on the database you want to connect to and get going by filling in all the details. Not bad. So now let's connect to a MongoDB database and see this thing in action. Click on cancel. Go up to the top left, click on data source, and now you get to pick from all these different beautiful different options. Okay, I like Mongo, so let's go with that. Clicking on Mongo, now let's fill out my details. Once you're done, click on test connection to see if everything's set up. Green check mark, good, everything's working. Click on okay. All right, here we are in the query console. Now we can actually perform some queries. So here I go. All in all, this is a clean looking UI, works really well, connects to many different databases with ease. You don't really need to worry about downloading the drivers as everything is handled for you. It's got pretty great autocomplete, works really well for Mongo and really well for SQL, but that's to be expected. What's even better, you get constant updates and constant new features on the JetBrain side. That's great. It's good to see that a big company like this still provides long-term support. All in all, the price is pretty steep, but I think this is definitely worth it. I'd suggest you go with the all products pack though for only $24.99 a month or $200 a year. It's much better and you get all the different products in one batch as opposed to paying for one, one by one. And let me just tell you, the products are awesome. I've used IntelliJ, WebStorm, now DataGrip, even SeaLion, and I love them all. Really top-notch software from JetBrains. Well done, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. If you want to support me, check out the Patreon link down below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.